Hi Year 3, we are going to be creating a sketch map of Egypt today. So I'm going to do my best to talk you through each stage. And we will begin by drawing the coastline. I am writing in black pen so that it's nice and clear for you to see. But you will be sketching in pencil. So starting off right at the edge of Egypt, I'm going to bring my pen along. Not creating a straight line as the coastline is very jagged. And it's going to come slightly up as we get over to the mouth of the Nile and then just coming down as we border into the next country. So my next step, I'm going to draw in the coastline of the Red Sea. So it's quite a wide sea. I'm going to position my pen just south of where the mouth of the Nile is and I'm going to begin to draw in the edge of the Red Sea and that runs right the way down to the bottom of Egypt and again just going to bring it back up and it's just going to come off of the page as it does go into Saudi Arabia as well. So there is our Red Sea. Now I'm going to draw in the River Nile. So I'm going to first of all start by putting in the outside tributaries of the Nile Okay, so putting in that first of all, and then we're going to take the winding slope down to the south of Egypt with the Nile. So I am going to gently bend off to the left. Coming back round, there's a loop part way down. And then it keeps heading right down into the south of Egypt because it also continues into Sudan. So there are wider parts of the Nile which are at the bottom, so I'm just going to add in some depth at the very bottom and then I'm going to go back up to the top where the mouth of the river is and I'm going to add in some tributaries. So I'm just going to have them branching off the edge of the Nile as they spread across the floodplains. So. Those are the key features of our map. I'm going to go through and add some colour to the water areas now. So I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to colour. So hopefully this will speed up for you now. Okay, so those are all the water areas filled in. We will label each of the seas and the river Nile when we get to the end. I'm now going to add on some particularly green areas. So we know that the land was more fertile around the Nile. So I'm going to be shading in around the tributaries and around the edges of the Nile um, some green land to show that there was farming around there. So I'm going to speed it up again.
Okay, so I've shown the more fertile land around the water areas. Um, and then finally, the colour to add is going to be yellow um, to represent the Sahara Desert and just to show how dry it was. So let's fill the rest of the space in in yellow. Okay, so we have now coloured in the basis of our map. So there are two final things that we need to do. So first of all, we're going to add some labels to our map to show anybody that picks our map up exactly what we have sketched. So first of all, I'm going to use my black pen. I'm going to label the bottom left with Egypt. a different pen. Let's try this one. Okay, so the capital of Egypt will come next. Um, Cairo. So hopefully you'll be able to put your finger on your maps as to where you think Cairo is going to be positioned. It's going to go here. So I'm just going to do the dot to represent its position. And writing in with a capital letter, the word Cairo. Um, and then we're going to add on another large city, which is just on the, the little loop of the Nile there. And that is going to be Luxor, where the Valley of the Kings was, where Tutankhamun's tomb was found. That's in Luxor. And then I'm going to label Alexandria. So that's at the top here of the tribute trees um, and on the coastline. So hopefully my pen will show up. Okay, so we have got, oh, a couple more labels at the bottom. Hopefully some of you can remember from last lesson what it was called that was built in the middle of the Nile to um, to cut the water, to cut the Nile in half. It was the Aswan Dam. So I'm going to put that on our map here. And then we've just got to label our seas. So the sea um, that splits Europe and Africa is the Mediterranean Sea. sure you're giving everything a capital letter and then the sea down here which splits Egypt and Saudi Arabia up is the Red Sea Now, what you might like to do finally, if you've got a little bit of time, is to add on some of those key features that we know are in Cairo and Giza. Um, so you could, as we've practiced so much um, drawing our 3D pyramids, you might like to draw those on. Mrs. Raymond's not so good at drawing 3D pyramids by the looks of it. your pyramids on perhaps if you've got an orange color you could give them a bit of coloring perhaps um, if you wanted to have a go at drawing the sphinx as well you could draw that alongside it Okay. 
going to add a little bit of colouring to that. Um, and then anything else, perhaps some other symbols that we've learned about Egypt, you could have those drawn in there, perhaps down by Luxor, where the Valley of the Kings is, you might be able to draw the, the mask of Tutankhamun um, to represent that. So I will leave you with the detailing. Um, any of the labels I'm sure can be written on the board so that you can see the spelling of them. And good luck.